Okay. I can't believe what's happening to the Philippines right now. What a surprise. I think it's about time for me to see why such things happen. Humble, get my bags and get ready. We're about to go on another adventure. Sir, yes sir. Sir, saging to. Shut up! Have you heard of the pork bass scam lately? I can't believe they can do that while others are suffering from poverty. You are a disgrace! How evil are you to steal billions of pesos which could have been used to uplift the lives of your fellow countrymen? Hindi! Hindi totoo yan! Di mo ba nakita ang mga NGOs ko? Malinis at nasa tuwid na dalitan! What NGOs are you saying, lady? You do not deserve to be a Filipino. You, along with your bogus NGOs, are only for your sake. Jose Rizal once said, Independence means that every Filipino serves a country's interests and not their own. It is better to be enslaved by Spaniards, wherein we know their evil plans, than being foolishly controlled by your countrymen, whom we do not know their selfish interests. If that is the case, then we have not achieved genuine independence. You feel that people control the Philippines and our countrymen? Where is the freedom of the Filipinos if they are being slaves to you filthy people? They work hard to support their families, and you just steal their money! Sir, wait a minute. Do you have 10 million pounds that I can call the channel? But let's surrender. Sure, sure. Or better, you can surrender to yourself. I hope our work in here is done. To tell you the truth, I hate corrupt people, but I can't understand why they can't be caught. Isn't that Nani Pimentel, the one who created the bill that will abolish the Sangguni and Kabataan? Humble, humble, capture him! Just capture him, I'll tell you why later. Wake up! Why? Why didn't you abolish the SK? Huh? Hindi ko inabolish ang SK. 
Ang gusto ko lang, mawala ang SKB bilang isang local government structure. Pero meron pa rin youth representatives para sa government. Still, the SK is the best exposure to our future leaders. If the local government would just take the youth representatives under their wing, they can easily influence them in the ideas and in doing corruption. Pero sayang ang pondo sa SK. SK serves as the best breeding ground for good governance. The youth has a standard of opinions and it must be separate and independent from others. With the SK, there are high hopes for our country's future. Jose Rizal once said, Ang kabataan, ang pag-asa ng bayan, sila ang nagbubunga ng masasarap at matatamis na putas na ating pagyayamanin sa mga susunod na lahi. The youth is the future of this country. We must be able to train them efficiently and in a good manner. Tama sir, makinig ka lang. Naniniwala ako sa kabataan sa kakayahan nila. O ano, napaisip ka? I don't think we can do anything more about this. Just let him free and let him decide for himself. Sige, alis ka na. Do you mind if we take a stroll? Yeah. I think I need to go to the chapel and pray for all the things that are oh, happening to our country. I've never really believed in the church's power. The opinions of the church are too highly valued by the people. Even the Pope vows scandalate me. They need to tell the side through the homily. Leg out. Yellow model cheat. Yellow bottle sipping. Yellow Lamborghini. Yellow top missing. Well, what do we have here, Father Tyler? Do you mind if we ask him some questions? Sure. Father Tyler, do you mind coming with us? Sure. Ano ba yung mga katatungan niyo? Forgive us for doing this, Father, but we need to ask you some questions. Why does the church need to have the opinions on social issues? Okay, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. It's okay, Hapa. I don't want to say. Anyway, Father Tagler, why does the church need to say their opinions every time? Uh. Abagi nong Maria. Sakutin mo ah! Sakutin mo! Ano, ano ba yung mga talo nyo? Why does the church need to say the opinions every time? Iyo, huwag kang, maka, huwag kang maingay pero makapangyayon lang, lang talaga kami. Hindi naman namin sinasabing sumunod sila sa opinion namin. Yun nga lang, ka kami may kapangyarihan. Remember my speech last August 4, 2011? Doon sa RH bill. Daming sumunod sa opinion ng simbahan nun. No! There's something fishy! I can't understand why the church is so powerful and can influence the people in an easy manner. On the other hand, the people are being slaves ordered by the church. Jose Rizal once said, El hombre tiene el juicio individual y la conciencia. La iglesia es un cuerpo sagrado. Pero la gente no debe de charcoe la iglesia influenciarlos. Man must use the judgment and conscience to decide on the things and must not let the church just force them to follow a present opinion. If that's the case, then we can also say that the church is controlling the nation. Ito kasi, huwag na kayong mga ilaw. Kung may stand man kayo, sa inyo na lang yung kakagat pa yung mga ngayapan niyo. Let him free. Okay. He has his own concept of judgment and He can decide what the church should do next. Ha! <sighs> what a day. I think we need to rest. Pagmula, ano, bibilang ko pa yung pamangkin ko ng ano, transport na bag, tsaka guest na pants. Mukhang mapapahamahal ako din din. What does it have to be important? Ewan ko doon. Ewan ko doon. Feeling daw niya, cheap daw yung sa Philippines. So nga nang pumunta sa States eh. Seriously? Why does everything have to be imported? There's no argument the quality is better, but seriously? 
Well, I think that's wrong. I really hate people who are easily influenced by colonial mentality. Which, speaking of... We could just pretend to be with her all day What a feeling when you first have a land today Thank you for doing, man. So the day of the Philippine society. Well, turns out you're staying with us. You flunk your test anyway, cause you know nothing and care for nothing about Philippine history. All you care about is important, important, important. Jose Rizal once said, Ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa pinaroroonan. It simply means we should always go back to our country and devote everything for it. Your future work, your education, must be for the Philippines. You are Filipino, and everything you do must be for the betterment of our country. You cannot achieve anything if you devote yourself to buying these important things. Our society is getting poorer and poorer. Let me ask you straight. Are you experiencing poverty right now? Oh, naman. Abay sa hirap na ng buhay ngayon. Mga abaka ko si Nasara. Hindi naman dano yung gamit dahil wala nang may gusto ng ganon material. Yung mga pagkain si Nasara ko hindi nari masadong mabenta. Abay wala pala na yung mga restaurant na yan. Puro yan yung makain ng mga tao kahit foreigner naman ang may ari. Enough said. Do you now see the suffering they experience whenever you buy your clothes and bags? Try to make a change. There are local versions of the products you want to buy. It is alright to buy imported goods, but whenever there are Filipino alternatives, you must first consider them. Because by buying these products, you'd be able to help our fellow Filipinos. Alright, go ahead. But I want to see you change the next time around. I can't believe that the Filipino youth are being blinded by colonial mentality nowadays. What is the love for country? Mr. Deputy Secretary, well, pardon us for bringing you here, but really, what's happening to our education system right now? Well, I really cannot assess. I think it's doing good. The K plus twelve is on its way to its full implementation. I think we're heading for the better. In that case, there's one thing I would like the Deputy to strengthen. Aside from mathematics, science, and English, I would like the Deputy to strengthen the impact of Filipino history classes on students. I think students take their history classes for granted, not knowing this is a class where they get knowledge regarding the country. Jose Rizal once said, Aking ikinalunong ko ang edukasyon ng Pilipinas sapagkat higit sa lahat, mga tamang asal para sa bayan dapat ang natututunan ng kapataan. Walang makasisira sa kaalamang ito. Since the youth will be the future leaders of our country, it is just right that they know well the mistakes of our ancestors, so as not to repeat them, the objectives of our predecessors, so as to aim for such too, and especially the love of the country, of our heroes, so as to assess themselves if they love the country too. Um, take an answer. Suggest mo lang. Why di kaya gumawa ng isang mandated class? Yung tungkol lang sa current issues. So, may mga tala kaya na tungkol sa mga nangyayari sa news at mga essays sa debates kung ano ang alam ng mga kabataan. Kaya parang karuntong lang ng history class, di ba? Well, tama kayo dyan. 
I'll think about that. I hope you do. You're a Lasallian yourself, brother. A Lasallian achiever for God and country. Well, I think we better head home now because... Sir. Sir. Go! Don't drop that time tunnel! Don't! <laughs> 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 <laughs>